I just had a great idea. So I've done a lot of build challenges in The Sims 4, but what if we do a build challenge in Stardew Valley? <laughs> Not just one build challenge, but like every build challenge. So I've done this in The Sims where I did basically every room is a different build challenge. <laughs> so it's a different like type of challenge for each room. And I figured, you know, for my first video doing a build challenge in Stardew Valley, why not just do that? Why not just do every build challenge? If y'all like any of these challenges, maybe I could do, you know, a whole video on one particular build challenge. They're not gonna be exactly the same as in The Sims because like, there's, you know, building in Stardew Valley is a little bit different. Also, my character's like really fast. I forgot I have a mod on for that. I'm using the CJB Cheats mod, which like lets me have a bunch of different stuff. But I'm also using, I think it's the CJB Item Spawner mod that basically lets me just spawn any item into the game. I do have the like flooring and wallpaper catalog and I have the furniture catalog, but there are some items that are not in these. So that's why I have the Item Spawner. And yeah, based on my different whatever challenge I'm doing, I can get some of this stuff. Some of this, like, I don't think is even actually in the game. So this should be fun. I've made a wheel with all the different challenges. You know, I actually totally forgot that, like, time continues to move in Stardew while you're playing. So at some point I might have to sleep. It's already 9 a.m. That is one thing that's very weird because like in The Sims, time doesn't move when you're building. So uh, I got to keep an eye on that. So I thought it'd be fun to do like every room is a different villager. We could also do each room in a different aesthetic, a uh, solid color, a room based on a Stardew holiday. I was thinking maybe I could try to do budget. That's kind of a big one in The Sims, but budgeting it in, the, in Stardew Valley will be kind of weird. We'll see. And then I was also thinking it'd be fun to do a room based on different Stardew Valley animals and sort of time period. I'll explain them more once we get one. So let's see what our first room will be. Time period, okay. All right, this one's kind of complicated. In The Sims 4, there's a decades challenge where like every room is a different decade. I'm not sure if that would work that well, but I'm thinking like, okay, we could do one that's like the Stone Age. We could definitely do modern. I'm thinking like Art Nouveau, Art Deco, 60s. This is the only one that's like actually a decade. Okay, so let's spin to see what the living room will be. 60s only one this decade okay let me just like look up like 60s interior design see i'm thinking something like colorful something like this could be really cool i'm not sure how accurate it is to 60s but i definitely could do something like this so i mean i don't know do i do wallpaper and flooring first i'm not sure i've put my catalogs in the living room but maybe i should move them i just don't know to where we'll keep them in here for now okay 60s was really into like carpet right do we even have carpet in Stardew Valley? I think we just have like hay and grass and stuff. I don't think we have carpet. Well, I did not foresee that issue, but what about something like this? I feel like that could be cute. Maybe something colorful. And then for walls, I don't even know like what category a lot of this would be in. Ooh, these could be cool maybe. That's very colorful. Ooh, I like that. No, that's good. That's kind of cool. I want to do like a TV area and then some couches around it. I do really feel like I should move these. I'll move them into the kitchen for now. And then our chest. I mean, I can probably find a way to like keep this chest in the living room. This chest has like a few decorative stuff. Actually, this picture is kind of good. I'll have to figure out exactly where to put it. There's not a lot of space for pictures in here, but I think we have to do that picture. Oh, I don't know. I guess if we got another picture behind there, it could look cool. Let me see what pictures we have. So if I go in the furniture catalog, I can see some of the pictures at least. Oh, this one could be nice. Kite Master 95. Yeah, a lot of the pictures aren't in here, but they are in the item spawner. But what about like that? I could, I could see that working. All right, let's look at what the furniture is. There are some pretty cool couches in this game. I really wish there was like an orange one, but yellow might work. I could also do red or blue. I'm not sure if that would go with the colors. I really have not done a lot of building in this game. It's very interesting how to like adjusting to it. And then I'm like sitting on stuff. Cause I'm not used to like being in live mode basically in building. Ooh, I love the funky rug. Well, I hope that works. Does that work in here? Oh man, I forgot you have to put rugs down first. No, I think I'm gonna have to move everything to put the, the rug under it. Please stand by. <laughs> Wait, will this one fit? No. So annoying. Okay, at least this is like centered under the TV. And we can organize our chairs and stuff around it now. Oh my gosh. And then I just picked up the... <laughs> 
Oh no, it's so easy to accidentally pick up the rugs too. I love the rugs in this game, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah, the finding stuff isn't that hard. It's just that placing it is certainly not easy. Now, I did think this tree would be nice, but I don't know if it'll fit. I mean, it could go right there. Ooh, what if I just covered this whole side wall with this tree? I kind of like that idea. I just feel like there needs to be like technology and stuff in here. We could do a camera right there. No, that's weird. That looks like they're under surveillance or something. Can you not turn the camera around? That's annoying. I mean, I didn't really know this was an object in the game, so I'm not that surprised. We could actually put this in there. It might be kind of cool. It might look kind of nice. You know what? I think I like this. I think this is pretty good for like a 60s living room. I don't know if I should try to put anything like over here. There's not exactly runner rugs, are there? Not really. There are floor dividers, which I don't really know. I've never seen these before. Uh-oh, it's already getting late. It took me an entire day to do this oh no oh this is kind of cool it makes it look like it's a split level I mean it's not but it makes it look like it is I do like that oh you know the jukebox would have been nice in here okay I need to sleep because it took me an entire day to do this all right well that's our 60s room I think it's quite cute actually rather functional too lots of things to do in here I think I'll do the kitchen next I don't think I'm going to do the cellar even though it's cool you can't change the wallpaper or flooring in here. And there's like also this stuff that you can't move. Maybe another time I'll do something with the cellar. But for now, we're just going to focus on the kitchen. All right, which challenge is next? Budget. I, I need to figure out what budget I'm going to do. Okay, so I checked and in my Sims video like this, I did 1 to 10,000. Although one is like, okay, I'm going to do 100 to 10,000, I think. Because one is like, I don't think I can buy anything for one. And I have no idea how budgeting will work in Stardew Valley. So let's just see. 6,603. Oh, there's no way things cost $3 or three. I almost said simoleons, whatever it is in Stardew Valley. This is going to involve a lot of calculating because like, I mean, I have money, but when I get something out of the furniture catalog, it doesn't cost money. So I'm going to have to like add up how much they cost. Oh no. Let me just, I'm going to like clear out all the extra stuff in my inventory so that I can just have things I'm going to use and that I think it'll be easier. All right, first I want to get a mini fridge, at least one. So we have a fridge. Is there any other like kitchen appliance? Coffee maker, coffee maker. So I think I'm going to put those like over here. I don't think you can move this stuff. Yeah, I don't think any of this is movable. Oh, do these don't have a cost, do they? Because it's not like something you buy. Well, I guess that's a cheat. I don't know if the mini fridge does. It does. Okay, it's 1,500. That's already quite a bit of a money okay hold on I gotta like pull out the calculator or something all right so I definitely need a table but also if I want a rug I need to get that first how much are they oh my gosh that costs ten thousand that is over budget all right let me just get like a couple rugs and see if any of them are possible to use so I really don't know how much these cost 750 that's more doable 10,000 nope 10,000 10, why are all these rugs 10,000 maybe I could do a little rug in front of oh you can't even do a rug in front of the sink okay I'll do a little rug over here. I think that's cute. That was, how much was that? 750. Now we have like 4,300 to get a dining table. Should I just like grab a bunch of stuff and then see? I feel like we should get smaller tables. Let me, I want to do sun or moon table, but I bet they're really expensive. 2,500, that's actually doable. The oak table's only uh, 750. I could do the oak table. I feel like country chairs would be nice. They're 750 each. Can I afford to do like two on each side? I think it'll look best like that. So four times 750 is 3,000. So with that, we have 603 dollars left or gold or whatever. So what decorations can I get for over here for 603? <laughs> there is a china cabinet. There's no way we can afford that, right? I kind of want to see though. China cabinet? Yeah, that's 6,000. That would have been like our whole budget. Okay, some of these houseplants we can do. They're all 250. That's good. I think I'm going to keep the furniture catalog in here. It'll help fill up the space. Oh, so now we only have 100, 103 left. How do you find stuff that's cheap in this game? I don't, I don't really know. You know what? Maybe we should get a decoration for the table with that 103. I'm just going to grab a few things and hope maybe one of them is cheap. D7, oh, I don't know if there's anything less than 250 in this game. Oh, the tea set is 200. Maybe I should get rid of one of those plants for the tea set. There has to be something that's like free, technically. Maybe like a gym or something. <gasps> a chicken statue. Wait, 
that actually fits really well. Okay, so I traded out something that was worth 200 for something that was worth 50. I have 150 more now, so I have 303. Again, I don't think we're gonna get anything that's worth three. Things seem to be in like fives mostly, but I think I will put this plant back. And then I thought I saw these barrels and they seem to be like not cost anything so I might just like fill up with a couple of those oh can I okay I can place them here so those are technically free but we can say they costed they equaled up to 53 gold which is what we needed to spend <laughs> All right, that was that was a bit complicated, but I think it's a cute kitchen. I'm glad I, f I remembered I could use artifacts like this chicken. That's actually perfect. So there's our first two rooms. I mean, they look cute. Should we go? I think let's go over to the bedroom next. This is kind of a big bedroom. There are some really good beds I like, so hopefully we'll get something good. I'm not gonna sleep just yet. All right, let's go for the bedroom. Holiday. Okay, I'm gonna do Stardew Valley holidays. So let me make the list. <laughs> I guess they're technically called festivals in Stardew Valley, but I did a Sims build challenge where every room was a different holiday. So that's why I was thinking that. You know, maybe we can actually go to the festivals in the game to like see what we're basing it on. That could be good. All right, I've got them all on there. Now let's go. What are we gonna do? The luau, okay. I think I'm gonna go there. <laughs> I need to I need to figure out what I'm doing. So that means we gotta sleep till like summer. I'm glad I didn't get the Feast of the Winter Star or something. That would have been a long time to sleep. Okay, it's today. I have some cauliflower to put in the soup. All right, nine o'clock. We can finally go to the luau. Let's see what we've got. Okay, there's, I mean, there's a lot going on here. Maybe do some sort of sand flooring. We have lots of tables full of food. I'm not sure if you can actually do that in the game. Like if I put out a table, can I set food on top of it? I'll have to try. And then of course we have a big pot of soup in the middle. We've got a little drum down here, some speakers. I don't know how much of this I can like replicate, but we'll try. There's not really much else. I guess I can see what's in the shop here. Maybe we can decorate something with stuff from the shop. Yeah, there's a bunch of these. Okay, the totem poles and the plain torches are here. So maybe I just get some of this stuff. All right, let's uh, have the governor taste the soup or whatever. And the soup was pleasant, very pleasant. Time to head home and do some decorating. You know, it's gonna be late. I'll probably, I should just sleep to the next day. Ooh, our living room does look nice with these lights. So I'm gonna start by getting rid of this bed. My catalog is here. So let's find a good wallpaper. There is this beach wallpaper. And then let's look for like sand flooring. That's pretty good. And then this. Oh yeah, that's sandy. I mean, it looks a little more desert than like the beach, but I think it's fine. Now, are there any rugs that are like leafy? Because that could be cool to have, but I'm not sure if it exists. Oh, there's this blossom rug. That could be good. We could do the Fisher double bed. We could do wild double bed or tropical double bed. Personally, I really like the Fisher double bed. It's so small though. I'm used to playing, I play with like the multiple spouses mod <laughs> that makes the beds longer. Mm, I think the tropical double bed might be better though. Wait, we have this wall palm tree, but it just kind of can go over these other ones. I do like this better though. Should I just like replace the palm trees on the wallpaper with these? It does look better. Okay, I guess I'll do that. I feel like the winter dining table and the festive dining table could both be good. But I don't even know if I can put food on top of them is the thing also. Um, I don't think there's really anything for music besides the jukebox, but there's like the, there's like a music block, right? I feel like it would kind of make sense because there's like music at the event, you know? And I mean, I could put another jukebox in there even though I already have one in the living room. Now I just have to find stuff to put on this. It would look so cool if I could put some of this food actually out on the tables though. Oh, I can if I right click, wait. Just like maybe only one food at a time. Maybe I need to rethink this then. Maybe I should do smaller tables so then I can put more food. Okay, I'm gonna try that. There's a luau What? How did I not notice that? I should be able to put at least one thing on each table. So I gotta choose carefully. Definitely some soups. They do have a shrimp cocktail. They also have fruit salad. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look exactly like the luau but it's something. I wish I had like a big soup pot to put here, but I don't think I do. I might just do another big table. I like it. I think uh, the whole food thing could have been done better, but you know. All right, this is cute. This is a nice little luau room. We can dance to some music. Wait, let's turn on luau music actually. Up next, I think we're probably gonna do this room. 
I honestly, I th I kind of reconsidered if I should have added all these extra rooms because that's just a lot to do, but I guess we're doing it now. <laughs> so we'll see what this room is gonna become and let's go to sleep. So the next room will be aesthetic. Okay, so every room is a different aesthetic. I think I might leave this one on because I have quite a few good ones for that. So we might do it again. So now I have to make a new wheel again. I came up with a few aesthetics that I think I could do pretty easily. Plant parent is one that I put. I don't know, just like lots of plants and stuff, right? I thought goth would be fun. Underwater, is that an aesthetic? I don't know. I was just making stuff up. So I'm gonna spin and see which aesthetic we're doing. Goth. Oh, that's fun. Okay. First, we gotta go over to the catalogs. Ooh, the skeleton could be good. Dark throne. That seems like it could be useful. Now, do we want to do any rugs? Because we know we gotta put those down first. I do kind of like this one. I feel like there'd be some sort of like mystical table here. Like, am I wrong for associating goth with like witchy vibes? I'm not sure if I want to put anything on the walls because like we already have the little skeletons. I wish I could hang them up here. That would look so good. There's gotta be like a crystal ball or something in this game. There's a witch hat. That's cool. There's a skull brassiere. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that'll like work in here, but put those. Yeah, we can put those right here. Okay. I did not mean to put the chair on the table. I don't know. That's something. I need to figure out something to put down here though. I guess I have this wardrobe. Oh, the telephone is ringing. Um, hello? Why are you calling me, Pierre? You want me to come buy more stuff? Okay. Yeah. Wow. I just got like an advertising call. That's kind of gross. Wow, this room actually does look good. I just came back in. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Anyways. Ah, oh, not the rug. Really? Ooh, can I put a Mysterium poster on the sign? No! Oh, I did it again. Why, why are rugs like this? Can you, can we have the rugs not be like this? I would appreciate it. Can I do like a bench or something? What the? Hello? <gasps> what the heck? I'm right clicking and it's just like turning into new things. Oh yeah, there's a witch. I should put a witch on something, you know? Actually, oh, I destroyed the witch. Okay, well actually, what if I put the witch here and the witch can be like the, the diviner, right? Put a little, nope, not on the table. Put a, no, not on the table. No, I want the face to be like on the ground right here. Oh, I'll, I'll put a bench here. Yeah, people can come and sit on this bench and talk to the witch, sure. Now I want to get, maybe I can get an artifact for to put on top of it sure all right here's our goth room i mean you know it i think it works i think it's cool here i'll put my witch hat and skeleton mask in the wardrobe okay all right that's that's enough of that um so <laughs> now for our next room I don't know what this room is gonna be, but I guess we'll see. At least it's a little smaller, so less that we have to do, I guess. So let's spin our challenge wheel. Solid color. Oh, we hadn't gotten that one yet. That's a classic. Now I gotta make another wheel with all the colors on it. Let's see what this room will be. Yellow. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Quite the contrast to our goth room. All right, let's look for yellow stuff. Actually, I should clear out my inventory first. I have way too many things. All right, so let's go for yellow wallpaper and flooring. Yellow stripes. That could be fun. Are there any yellow floors? We might just have to go with like wood. You know what? While I was looking, I found this other sand flooring and I think it actually works better in here for like the luau room. Looks less deserty and more beachy. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that one. For the walls, that's cute. Do I have to do a separate one over here too? Yeah, I do. I could just do, yeah, I might just do plain there. And do we want stripes or do we want the bubbles? I don't know, I like both. I'll just like keep an extra one of each so I can switch between them if I'd like. I'm gonna come over here to the furniture catalog. Let's look for yellow things. We're gonna have a lot of couches in this build. <laughs> oh, we already have a yellow couch in the living room too. Oops. All right, I've got some yellow things. I haven't put any windows anywhere yet, but I thought it might be nice to have some windows, although it's dark outside right now. It would fit a bed here nicely. I just don't think we have any yellow beds. Maybe this one, is that yellow enough? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what other yellow things we'd have. Let's see corn? Do we grow corn in like a pot? Okay. Well, I have a lot of yellow stuff. I just don't know how to make it into like a cohesive room. I think the bed isn't gonna work. I think it's not quite yellow enough and we should probably go with the couch as like more of a focal point. 
We're gonna have so many living rooms in this house. All right, let's sleep. There are unfortunately not any yellow rugs. Although maybe fortunately, honestly, we don't have to deal with that. Lots of wall decor, sure, why not? Is the phone ringing again? Can you leave me alone? Who is it this time? Now it's Lewis. How's everything going? Um, I feel really at home here. You know, I've been decorating. I think it's good. I don't really care. All right, goodbye. I'll put in a hay bale. Can I put anything like on top of the hay bale? That would be cool. No. A table would be nice. I did think about doing garden pots to grow some corn in. If I actually want to grow this, uh, it's gonna take a while. There's some items that are like, I've never seen the game before. And then when you try to move them, they just break into a bunch of pieces. So that's interesting. Should I do like tables down here or something? Like I could just have a bunch of different stuff displayed. I did not mean to put a table on top of a table. Oh no. Okay that's kind of cool. I like that. Maybe I should do a cooler wallpaper up here. Now I'm gonna like sleep several days um, and hopefully the corn will grow. Actually I'm gonna get some retaining soil. I don't want to water it every day. Let's get that deluxe retaining soil. Perfect. Okay let's sleep. All right it is grown. Honestly maybe I should should have gone with sunflower instead. At least if I harvest the corn there will be more corn later so that's nice. Um yeah this area actually would be kind of helped by a little rug but we don't have a yellow rug so it's a nice little collection of yellow things at least. All right so our next room is the kids room. Uh, my sim doesn't my my farmer I don't know sorry I'm, can you tell I play a lot of sims. Uh, my farmer doesn't have any kids yet, but yeah, we'll be decorating. I don't know. I don't think there's like different versions of the kids' beds and stuff, but we'll see. So let's go see which challenge this one's gonna be. Actually, you know, I still had aesthetic on there, but maybe I should just, we only have two more rooms. So yeah, I'll just do these two. So we had Stardew Valley Animal and Stardew Valley Villager. So this should be fun. Villager, oh, okay. So the other room will be an animal, but now gotta put every Stardew Valley Villager on two wheels. So this might take a second. Okay, I've put all of the Stardew Valley villagers on a wheel. Honestly, if I get one of the bachelors or bachelorettes, we're basically going to be making their like spouse room. But I could definitely see myself doing like a whole video with just this challenge. You know, every room is a different villager. So if y'all are interested in that, definitely let me know in the comments. But with that said, let's spin the wheel. Caroline, oh, that's fun. Okay, we need definitely need to go visit her little room, her garden area. Caroline for the kids room. I'm kind of tempted to change Caroline's into this one. This one just seems a lot more like her little greenhouse. I don't know, let's, we'll see. You know, I probably need to cheat my relationship with her up. I haven't even met her, okay. Now I have. Okay, we got a cutscene with Caroline. I don't think this one is super important. I'm gonna skip it. I just want the one in like Caroline's little back room. Okay, so there's a little fountain. There's some planters. We got tea leaves. Oh, she also has the tea set. Okay, so I need to put the tea set in there. I had, I've never noticed that before, but it makes sense. Definitely can do something with this. There's some like gardening gloves on the ground. I don't really, like, I don't know if there's anything else for Caroline that I would incorporate in a room because like this doesn't it seems pretty generic you know I feel like the the sunroom is more of her place yeah I think I'll stick with that sunroom and some like tea plants of course and I decided I am actually gonna do this room and not the kids room yet I think that this room like fits the vibe of Caroline's sunroom better so we'll do this flooring yeah that's definitely the right flooring I feel like we definitely need more windows Ooh, you know what could be cool like the stump seat or something like planty I can see some wall baskets here I like that and then I'm thinking there's like a big tree over to the side so we can do a tree maybe we should move the windows there was like a fountain over on the side but I don't really have that I did also think so they were like butterflies in there so maybe I should have a butterfly hutch um and then I wanted to put a table down in the middle for some tea tea on one and then maybe I'll have some other ones beside it with other stuff so we'll do like a cup of tea on one and then <laughs> I don't know what else is there another tea thing I can put down tea leaves there you go <laughs> look at all the tea wow and then I will do some pots with some tea saplings I wish we could fit three right there there. That's a good Caroline room, I think. Okay, now for our last room, let's go spin. I actually kind of came up with this idea off the top of my head, so hopefully it is good. We can do cow, chicken. I think chicken would be easiest to do. There's so much chicken stuff. Pig, dinosaur. I will count slimes as an animal. I think that would be fun to do a slime room. Now our wheel is ready. 
dinosaur. There's some dinosaur stuff. Like if I go in here and search dinosaur. Yeah, see there's some things. Um, I don't really know what I can do with like the pants and the hat, but there's eggs. This looks kind of like a dinosaur, Ferrogamon. I mean, it is a kid's room. I gotta give them some dolls. Oh, I might do the tropical beds. I might switch those ones out for that. I think that could look good. Is there any dinosaur wallpaper? Um, I guess I should have looked at- Oh wait! The- the- the wallpaper already has a dinosaur on! It already has dinosaurs! Oh my gosh! How did I not notice that? There- it- I- there is dinosaur wallpaper because it's it's this wallpaper. Well, let me look if there's any good flooring. I don't know if I should go with like grass flooring. I mean, I guess you fight them in like the cave. So like, is there like a cave flooring? I know that that skeleton isn't a dinosaur, but I feel like it would be good to have. I always think that this one is like a little dancing guy, you know? It's getting late. Maybe I should just go to bed. Now, can I put this strange doll? No, I have to have something to put it on. All right, let's get some more side tables then. There's also a little skull. Is it weird to have a skull in the children's room? And then also have dinosaur mayonnaise. This does look rather dinosaur-y, I think. I neglected to put down any rugs. Oh, there is the monster rug. That could actually be fun. Here, in between their beds. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is kind of cute. Um, is there anything else I should add? I'll just put a few little jungle leaves and stuff in here. I feel like I need something down here, but I don't know what. I could do a fish tank, maybe. I mean, dinosaur are not fish. No, I don't want to go to sleep right now, but we could put some stuff in here. Let's just get like all the green ones, I think. <laughs> Any others that look like dinosaurs? Got the legend, got a largemouth bass, mutant carp, slime jack. <laughs> They're very green. We'll add in a void salmon. Honestly, that's pretty good. Oh, I can put like seaweed in here too. I think I'll do that. I can do a sea urchin, wait, and then I can give them hats. <gasps> I can give them dinosaur hats. Can I? I don't know, actually. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's coming full circle. It's it's all dinosaur now. That's probably too many sea urchins, honestly. The sea urchins have little dinosaur heads. That's so cool. I love that. I think I did good working with what I had. This is like, I've never decorated a house this much in Stardew Valley before, but it's pretty cool, actually. Even with our limited materials, we we're able to make something pretty interesting. The kitchen is definitely minimal, but like, you know, we had a budget for that one. But yeah, I think this is a pretty cool house and a pretty cool challenge. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I would love to do like Stardew Valley, but every room is a different villager. I think that would be really fun. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you want to see more build videos, I do have a bunch of like sims 4 build challenge videos that you can check out i'll link a playlist to some of those to let me know that you want more videos like this make sure to give the video a like leave a comment of course telling me that you want to see more videos like this uh, and you can also subscribe to my channel keep an eye out for more stardew valley videos from me i've been working on a, a longer project that's related to stardew valley but don't worry the sims videos won't be stopping anytime soon and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time